In this video, we'll explore mods to troubleshoot issues related to recent updates and introduced various new mods that have been added. Recently, Fallout 4 updated without my consent, causing confusion when F4SE plugins stopped working. However, I was able to resolve this using the Fallout 4 downgrader. This mod is used to revert the game to a previous version, particularly useful for continuing to use older mods that are no longer compatible due to the update. The process is simple and straightforward, allowing anyone to downgrade their Fallout 4 without difficulty. Once the downgrade is completed, please refrain from launching the game immediately and consider using Steam Skip Next Gen Update. After downloading Skip Next Gen Update, simply drop the ACF file named 377160 into your Steam Library's Steam Maps folder. By doing this, when you play Fallout 4 afterward, you can prevent future updates from occurring involuntarily, ensuring that the game remains unchanged according to your preference. In this segment, I'll introduce several gameplay-related mods. First up is Unlimited Sprint Out of Combat. This mod allows you to sprint without consuming action points when you're not in combat. However, once you enter combat, sprinting will consume action points as usual, so you still need to manage your AP. If you've found it challenging to manage your action points due to sprinting, or if you've wanted to sprint comfortably outside of combat, this mod might be worth trying. Next up is No Interior Fog. This mod removes the indoor fog within the game. By eliminating the indoor fog, it provides a visually cleaner and sharper environment, and some users may also experience an increase in the game's frame rate. Through this mod, indoor areas can appear cleaner and distant objects can be represented more sharply. Enjoy the benefits of improved performance in gameplay through this mod. Next up is Sexy Vault Girl Bobbleheads. This popular custom mod replaces all of the game's bobbleheads with Sexy Vault Girl variants, aiming to make the player's gaming experience more intriguing. The mod is designed to seamlessly integrate Forno's Vault Girl character into Fallout 4, replacing the existing bobbleheads with new and captivating designs. However, please note that this mod may contain NSFW elements, so use it with caution. In this segment, we're excited to introduce some outfit mods. First up is the Vault Tech Redux, Vault Tech Advanced Combat Armor and Suit. Think of this outfit as an expanded version of the Vault Tech Armor. This mod includes combat armor and suits for both male and female characters, supporting CBBE, TWB, 3BBB, and Atomic Beauty body slides. As mentioned earlier, the body suits and armor sets which are wearable by both male and female characters, have been completely revamped. You can choose between boots or heels for the bodysuit, and you also have the option to select armor plates. Moreover, the armor, gear pieces, and headgear are now fully modular and separated from the bodysuit, allowing each piece to be worn individually or in combination, giving you the freedom to customize your outfit. Create a more tactical and stylish character with this outfit and add fun to your game. Next up is Obi's Goth GF Outfit. This mod adds a distinct cyberpunk flair to Fallout 4's wardrobe options. While the choker exudes a strong gothic vibe, the leather jacket, hot pants, and boots all have a pronounced cyberpunk feel. If you're looking to create a modern theme, if you're looking to create a modern theme, this outfit could be an excellent choice. Although it doesn't perfectly align with the story of Fallout 4, the texture and quality of the outfit itself are exceptionally high, making it look even cooler when paired with a tactical rifle. Next up is FO4FI HD series. This mod enhances all armor textures in the Fallout 4 game to HD quality, designed with the intention of improving textures while maintaining the game's original style it has processed a total of 385 game files. This is not a mere upscale. It utilizes the mod creator's texture enhancement system to provide more detailed and upgraded quality, making the Fallout 4 experience more immersive. Additionally, there is a DLC clothes and armor series available, which upgrades the textures of armors and clothing 
included in the DLC, to HD quality. If you're looking to upscale vanilla armor textures, this mod is definitely worth trying. Next up is the Amara Armor CBBE. This mod adds a custom armor to the game, inspired by Borderlands, with a design reminiscent of the Raiders from Nuka World. The design strikes a casual tone, featuring a jacket adorned with various impressive accessories, and the ripped jeans boast excellent quality. Additionally, the cloth physics on the back seem to function quite well, enhancing the immersion. Although the lack of a body slide option is a bit disappointing, the overall design, from the jacket, to the jeans and boots is outstanding, which is why I'm introducing it to you. It can be crafted at the chemistry station, and if you're a fan of Borderlands, this outfit might be an especially attractive choice for you. In this segment, we'll introduce mods related to weaponry. First up is the Modern Warfare 2022 PDSW 528 FNP90. This mod adds a highly customizable FNP90 inspired by Modern Warfare 2. It features models, textures, sounds, and animations for both first-person and third-person perspectives directly imported from the game. In essence, this rifle is based on the FNP90 from Modern Warfare 2, utilizing the game's actual textures to deliver a high-quality visual experience. It includes the original game's sounds and animations for both first-person and third-person views, which enhances the immersive gameplay experience. This mod adds a new dimension to Fallout 4's gameplay and will be particularly appealing to fans of Modern Warfare 2. Next up is Escape from Boston, KAC SR25 and HKG28. This mod adds the KAC SR25 and HKG28 weapons to the game, both utilizing 308 caliber ammunition. These weapons offer a variety of customization options, allowing you to attach tactical lights to the rails on the left, right, and top, and supporting tactical reload. If you've been interested in tactical firearms, adding these weapons to your arsenal might be a good idea. In this segment, we'll introduce some visual-related mods. First up is Oppressor's Silver Veil's Breadbox. This mod remodels Fallout's Breadbox into Silver Veil's Breadbox, featuring a blue wood design adorned with cherry blossoms and a girl character. It's quite an impressive replacer, available in 4K resolution, offering both clean and dirty versions to choose from. Next up is Modern Replacer, Screws. This mod replaces old screw boxes with the latest model of loose screws. Additionally, in the same series, there's Fiber Optic, which replaces the existing fiber optic wire with the latest wire model. And don't forget about Modern Replacer, Wood Blocks, which swaps out toy blocks with modern versions. Be sure to check them out for your installation needs. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the latest Fallout 4 mods for the second week of May 2024. We hope you found some exciting additions to enhance your gaming adventures in the Commonwealth. Remember to subscribe for more updates on the latest mods and gaming content. See you next time, and happy modding!